Okay, I'm going to talk about a uh, new function that's in MarkEdit. Uh, this is specifically um, based around uh, some conversations I've been having and, and seeing some uh, folks who have been doing a number of workshops on using MarkEdit and OpenRefine together. Uh, a lot of these workshops uh, point out some of the uh, obvious problems, uh, specifically moving data back and forth between the two programs, because uh, MarkEdit deals primarily with uh, Mark and library related data, um, exporting it out into a delimited format that uh, OpenRefine can read isn't always been straightforward, and getting the data back from OpenRefine so that MarkEdit can read it um, uh, that hasn't been uh, super easy either, um, unless you know how to stream the output uh, so that you can get it back into a format MarkEdit understands. Uh, so what I've done is I've added two uh, new functions um, in the MarkEdit toolset. Uh, one that you can access through the Mark Editor and one that you can access as a standalone program. Uh, I'm thinking uh, uh, by the time this gets released, uh, I will add um, an option so that you can actually add the OpenRefine exporter to your main window um, by selecting the Preferences window and selecting it from the list. Um, otherwise, the way you select it is from the Mark Editor. You will find it under File and it's under export for OpenRefine, import from OpenRefine. Uh, right now those are the only two options, but I'm guessing that there'll probably be other tools that I'll add to it, so I've just set aside um, a general area there um, in the Mark Editor for um, import and export. From within the Mark Editor, if I was to select export for OpenRefine, it would take any of the data that's inside the Mark Editor window and export it either into a JSON or a tab delimited format, your choice. Um, import from would take a tab delimited file from OpenRefine and re import it into the Mark Editor in MarkEdit's mnemonic format. And we're going to look at both of those here shortly. From the main window, you have the um, option here as OpenRefine, um, Export and Import, so we're going to go ahead and open that. Um, so this tool can work either with the binary uh, MARC file format, and MarkEdit will then act as an intermediary between the MARC and the uh, OpenRefine format, or from MarkEdit's mnemonic file format. So I have a simple a sample file here, it's a MARC file. We're going to go ahead and select that one as our test file. And then we are going to set an output file format here. So that's going to be um, test.output. And we are going to make this a JSON file. And then we are going to go ahead and process it. And so that outputs the file. All right. So then we will open up OpenRefine. I have a copy of it right here. Here is our JSON file right here. Open it with WordPad. We can see how the JSON file is structured. Um, there's a primary array, it's rows, uh, and then tag, indicators, and content. Uh, you'll notice that tags are marked as strings. That way, when they get imported, um, OpenRefine doesn't automatically take these numerical values and turn them into string values, because we really want them to be uh, strings, especially for the output. So we'll go ahead and create a project, choose a file. We'll get our output. And then we will, uh, as soon as it tells me that it's got there we go. We select Next. It goes ahead and updates the data. You'll see that it breaks down um, the information. We just need to pick a node. Um, we actually want the whole record, so we're going to select the whole node. You'll notice one of the things that uh, OpenRefine does for some odd reason is it reorders the tags. Uh, for output purposes, we want to have the indicators over on the other side, so we're going to do that when we after we've created our projects. We'll create our project. You'll see that here are our fields, uh, the content, and then if we go over here, we'll find our indicators. We're going to go ahead and move those to the left. And that way we have them here. Uh, this will be important for when we export the data. Uh, so I'll go ahead and make a change to one of these files when we first show you some little stuff, something about how this is exported. You'll see it's exported as field. Um, indicators, if there are uh, control fields where there are no indicators, they will be blank. 
Um, so um, just blank values, and then you'll have the content here. Um, let me go to the next set of rows. You'll see the mark edit when it outputs in the JSON, and then when it gets re-imported, it uh, inserts blank rows into the file format. Uh, that way, when you export the data, um, those blank lines uh, should be retained. And when MarkEdit reads back the uh, tab delimited format, it knows where to create record markers. Uh, but if for some reason you were to delete those lines, the MarkEdit will create the record markers based on the start of where the uh, LDR appears. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go back to our first record. We're just going to change this particular element here. So we will go, that's third field. We're going to go ahead and select third field. We're going to go ahead and change this text. a different value. We'll go ahead and apply that. And so now we can take a look at it and see that my control numbers changed. Now I'm going to go ahead and output the data. So I'm going to export as tab delimited format. You'll see that it's been outputted to here. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this and put it on the desktop. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to Mark Edit. So in Mark Edit, um, now we have two methods for getting that data back into uh, Mark Format. We can either import it using the Tools and Open Refine and Import tool. So we can select our file and go to our file format, Tab Delimited. We'll select our Tab Delimited file. We are going to save that file as open refine changed. And that's going to be, uh, we're going to output it as a binary mark file. And we're going to import that data. Data has been imported. Our file has been created over here. Uh, we can go ahead and open that file if we want to. And see our data here has been changed. Uh, this was the change I made in OpenRefine. It's been re-imported back into MarkEdit. Um, I could actually, from MarkEdit in the Mark Editor, if I wanted to skip that step, I could go to the Mark Editor, go to Import from OpenRefine, select my output, tell it OK, and allow it to translate the data from OpenRefine and then import it directly into uh, the Mark Editor. And so again, we see here is the change that I made. As I noted in the Mark Editor, you have two export options. Um, the first one that we used was the JSON. Um, for large files, the JSON export probably won't be your best option. Um, I've been noticing when uh, looking at how OpenRefine deals with um, imported data, with JSON it has to parse the entire file. So if I was importing a large data set, I might want to do it as a tab delimited file format. So I'll go ahead and select my file, and I'm going to output this one in tab delimited format. And we'll go ahead and export that file. And so if we look at it, here's our tabbed output file, and if we open it up, you'll see that it looks kind of like MarkEdit's um, mnemonic file format, but if you look here, you'll see there are tabs between it. So we will go ahead now and reopen OpenRefine. We are going to create a new project. Create a new project. We'll choose our file. It's going to be a tab delimited file. So it's going to be this one. And we'll go next. So you can see this is what our file looks like. Now we've got to tell it a few things because you're going to look and see in the preview, the first thing it does is it looks at all the fields and turns those into numbers. We don't want that to happen, so we're going to tell it to stop doing that. Um, well, uh, the first thing we're going to do is tell it to stop parsing the first column as, uh, as headers, so we're not doing that. Next thing we're going to do is right here it says parse text cells into numbers and dates. We don't want it to do that either. We really need our data to be string data. They, these are really text. Um, we're not going to use this one uh, because we have no internal separators within our data and we are going to go ahead and store the blank rows. Um, and you can decide whether you want to store them as nulls or not. I usually tell it not to. Um, and then from there I can create my project. 
And now I have my data re-imported um, into um, OpenRefine and I can edit it again. So if I go back here and we will edit this one again. And we can do that and then we can export the data back as tab delimited format. Here's our file. Make a copy. Put it back on our desktop. And then if we go back into Mark Edit and the Mark Editor, and we import from OpenRefine, we can find our file right here and import it. And we will see that, uh, we should see that the data has been imported correctly. And there's our super new control number. So the data has been imported. It was a, a fairly straightforward and, and painless process from getting the data out of Mark, the Mark format and back into the uh, into OpenRefine and then vice versa. Now what this means is that for any format that Mark Edit can deal with, so Mark XML, EAD, whatever it happens to be, um, you can actually use the tool to facilitate um, a data transfer um, back and forth between OpenRefine and back into the XML formats, knowing, of course, that when moving from um, doing those kind of data translations, you may lose a little bit of data in between if the translations that you're using aren't lossless. Um, but anyways, uh, that's the, the way that this tool works as of uh, right now. Um, this is an example. This is how it looks uh, on the Windows version. Um, but you'll find on the Mac version that the uh, open or fine tool sets import and export are also there. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.